I'm Jamie Lee. I'm the executive editor at MM&M. I'm here today with Sam Johnson, director of data science at InTouch Solutions. Thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. So one of the things we're talking about today at this event is big data for big decisions. So what do you think is the biggest challenge when it comes to incorporating data into healthcare marketing efforts? I think one of the biggest issues that we run into with data in general is that there's a big focus on market research as the data that we use to make decisions on how, for example, we're going to reach out to our targets. And generally speaking, if we don't have any data to start with, that's a great place to start. But ultimately, as we build up data and we capture more data, we need to use that data to help us make smarter decisions about where to go next. So data can be a very, very difficult topic with our clients and in pharma in general because we don't really know what we're sitting on top of, and yet we could be sitting on top of reams and reams of data and information that could be very valuable in decision making. And looking forward into 2017, how do you expect to see big data used by healthcare marketers? I expect big data to be incredibly valuable and a huge, I expect 2017 to be a huge change for pharma. Uh, in the fact that once we help organizations and executives realize what data they're actually sitting on top of, they will realize the opportunity to leverage it in ways that they've never done before. And that's one of the roles of data science in and of itself. Data science helps us to uncover the stories that are often hidden in data because we really can't sit down with a spreadsheet anymore that has 200,000 rows of data and 55 attributes across the top and figure out what's going on. What do you think is different about 2016 and then going into 2017? Do you think there's a greater awareness of the role that data can play or are there any other factors? I think there's awareness of the role. Um, I also think that there's just a transition from sort of the 20th century feeling of sort of what I call the Mad Men era of marketing where we all went off into a room somewhere and sat down and came up with these incredibly creative ideas we plotted them out, we laid out our storyboards, and then we told you what we were going to do. And then we sort of prayed that they were gonna work. What I would call push and pray is now pull and play. And what I mean by that is we pushed everything out to our consumers and our targets before, and we hoped that they would do what we wanted them to do. And today, they're pulling that data, they're pulling the information when they want it and how they want it. But what they are also doing is leaving a breadcrumb which is a trail of data and information that we should be able to leverage so ultimately we can help them make better decisions and we can also change behavior. And beyond ad campaigns, how else can pharma marketers use big data? We can better describe our targets by taking that data and using it and leveraging it to determine who are these targets? What do they look like? How do they make decisions? What are their attitudes? Where, where are they? So the demographic information about them tells us more and more about who they are. I, I also like to say, generally speaking, that we're building, it's like building a puzzle. We open the box and what we see inside of one box, we have edge pieces. And another box we open has middle pieces. And data science in general is trying to take all of that data and put all of those puzzle pieces into a single box so that by the time we're done with that puzzle, we have a great picture of who our targets are. How can marketers use this type of data to, to better reach patients? The more opportunities that we have to gather up data about those particular patients, and not in any kind of intrusive way, but the best thing to try to understand is how do they want messages given to them? And when they go to pull them, will they be there? That's a critically important aspect of something that we would do from the pharma advertising and marketing side of the house is that we have to understand that consumers today and patients in general are pulling the information that they want and we're not just pushing it anymore. So having that data as to what they do, when they do it, and where they're doing it, and even on what device they happen to be doing it, is critically important to make sure that we get that message to them on the device they want, when they want it. Really important. Great. Well, I think that should be it. Thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you very much.